Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're today with the compact version of the Construction Attachments Root Grapple. Even though it's a compact version, it's built to a very high standard to withstand everything that your compact tractor under 50 horsepower should be able to put out. So they've made it a lot like their skid steer grapple. It's just a little bit lighter here and there, so it'll still give your machine a lot of capacity. They've centered the cylinders and turned the hoses to the top and taken away some of the vents underneath where you can't get any damage to your cylinder or your hoses. They're completely enclosed in the back here, so you don't have to worry about that. Now on the front of the gussets, this round bar here, a lot of buckets use a flat bar. And the problem with a flat bar is when you angle these teeth down under the ground to be getting all the roots and all, you've basically got a compact tractor. So you've only got so much push to give up. So you want this wheel to keep you to be able to regulate how much pitch you're putting onto those teeth. If you go straight down and they kept on going, your tractor would stop pushing. So that round bar kind of acts as a wheel, keeps you from going too deep. We try to put as little gussets up here at the front as we can so you can get good penetration into the ground. So the more gusseting that you find within a grapple means really the cheaper it's built. It might weigh more, but it won't be as strong. These have the, uh, the nip guards on the end of it. It has a separate plate welded to the end of the grapples that are kind of sharp to help you pull and tear things out of the ground. Unless you specifically ask for something different, on the compact tractor stuff, you will receive half-inch ag couplers and hoses on all of our equipment. If you need flat faces or something because you're gonna put it on something different, let me know. If you need the John Deere hitch, there is an upcharge, but you can get the John Deere hitch. You can get four pin mounts for most loaders. There is a small upcharge for that. Just let me know what you've got so we can get you the right mount. If you're considering purchasing a construction attachments, root grapple, or a brush grapple for your tractor, there's a couple extra things we just wanted to let you know. One is you know you're gonna need a hydraulics to open and close these clamshells and we're gonna go over that in just a second. On this new design, it does have 29 and a half inch opening, so you can get to just about anything that this size of tractor is gonna handle. This compact root grapple is meant for 50 horsepower and below, comes in a 60, 66, and 72 inch widths. Because it's a little bit longer, normally if I'm gonna be in tight quarters, I cut the width of what my normal bucket is down about six inches so I can get around better. If I've got a big field and a lot to do, then I probably want as much as I can get on there to, to work with. As you'll see, construction attachments uses a one-piece tine, which is a lot more expensive than using two pieces here and welding it to that square bar under there. It uses a lot more steel out of a plate to burn that than it does using just bar steel, but it makes it about twice as strong. And by making it twice as strong, we can make it a lot lighter and leave you a lot more capacity left in your mid-sized compact tractor. So these grapples are independent and that's what you want to be the best. So if your load is irregularly shaped from you know, a large load to a small load, you're gonna get the same amount of clamping force on both ends, but the grapples may not always work perfectly together. One may open a little before the other does, but that's what you want it to do. Uh, when, when they work independent, you're just able to get a lot more pinch on your load, and this grapple will go right to the very tips of these instead of way back like some I've seen and won't let you pick things up as well. So we really like the new design of the construction attachments root grapple here. Now on this one, this uses a, a third function auxiliary hydraulic kit. There are a couple different ways you could do it. If your compact tractor happened to have rear hydraulics, you could simply run longer lines to the back of your tractor. You would have to remove your hand from your loader handle and go back to your remote handle to clamp your jaws and then go back to your loader lever. With a true third function valve, you're able to use your loader up and down and your crimping at the same time. So that really makes it convenient. So your hydraulic lines are run right up here to the front where they couple up. 
This particular unit uses a standard skid steer quick attach. It can come with other different attachments if you need. Then we're peanuts sitting up here. The hydraulic valve, which is operated electric over hydraulic, is mounted right behind here where you can't see it. And the hoses are simply wire tied down the boom to the center to get your hydraulics there. This one little wire you see here that's on the main hydraulic lever, he's got a rocker switch right behind this where he can open and close his jaws while he, while he raises and lowers his loader at the same time. Much more convenient than reaching behind here to get to the remotes if you run the long lines. So we just want to show you some of the benefits of the uh, grapple and how they work and the hydraulics that you're going to need. They go to the trouble to index all of their slots and everything in their main. You can see where that weld is right there. All the gussets and all, this thing is put together kind of like a tinker toy and a jig and they're just the best quality on the market for the money. They're hard to beat the construction attachments brand. So if you need any, any help sizing this for your tractor or the type of hitch you need, give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments and we'll be happy to help you. We're gonna let Peanut crank this thing up and run it just a little bit so you can kind of get an idea of the way that the uh, grapples are gonna work. So they, they didn't close exactly the same. Go ahead and open them back. And it, but, but what you want is equal pressure on both sides to make them the best. If you need any help sizing your root grapple for the tractor you have or getting your hydraulic hookup connections, give us a call or an email at Everything Attachments and we'll be happy to help you.